Kevin. Diddy. Duncan. And we're here to give you your second PBL Apprentice Challenge of Days. That's right. So as you guys know, it's been roughly two weeks since we started our first challenge, the Finance Stock Simulation. In that time, roughly 47 of the PB, of PBL members have been competing and investing and trading on a daily basis. So I want to give you an update as to where they stand as of now and give you the top five. In fifth, we have Alex Wang from the PD Committee. And fourth place, Hunter He, the chair of the CS Committee. Third, we have Philip from Pubs. Go marketing. Second, <laughs> all right, we have Amy from PD, and in first we have Austin from Finance, no surprise there. As you can see, two out of five are from PD, so right now professional development is doing fairly well in challenge number one. For those of you who have not signed up for the Finance Challenge, do so immediately. Um, myself and Kevin, I think we've just started, so we are gonna be in there as soon as the market opens on Monday. Now, this Thursday, we also had the Consulting Case Challenge. This was a pretty tough case. Raised the revenue of the Pitt Brothers by 25%. All committees were judged on performance and content. And in third place, we had Historians with a score of 58 out of 70. In second, we had Finance with 60 out of 70. <clears throat> and in first place, the CS Committee with 66 out of 70. Congratulations to all three committees. Now I would like to give you an update on Zombie Tag. Last Friday it was pretty intense and scary, but in, in third place we have Historians with a, with a survival rate of 50%. In second place we have the Finance Committee with a survival rate of 60%. And last we have a, in first place the Pubs with a survival rate of 83.3%. That is impressive, wow. considering yeah. they have six members on their team. So, uh, Please check the blog post for a zombie tag recap for more information about that. Mm -hmm. So, what do you guys think? I think historians and finance are doing, yeah. doing fairly well early into this competition. Yeah, they, they have a lot of people come out to our events. Definitely. So, a really strong correlation between participation and performance mm -hmm. here. What do you guys think about CS when the consulting challenge? Pretty big surprise, even though they had Daniel Dew. They had Daniel Dew. Yeah, but... Uh, I heard Daniel Dew came late. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't. I think it was like yes. Credit for that. <laughs> credit where credit goes. Today, how how's your uh, prediction about a uh, social go? All right, all right. I knew this was gonna come up. I last week, if you guys recall, I predicted social dominating the next challenge since I couldn't participate last week. But unfortunately, only one one or two CMs came from social. So I think if they started showing their presence more in these challenges, they'll definitely start doing uh, more well well in, this, in the competition. Well, I'd also like to give a shout out to the Consulting CMs for helping host such an awesome workshop for us. And uh, as you guys know, the fourth PBL Apprentice Challenge is the Historian's Third Gen Video Challenge. All the information will be on the blog post and you will be judged upon creativity, script, and of course, entertainment value. Thank you very much. This is the end of our second update. Bye, PBL. See you guys.